Hi, I'm Heather Bichkowski. Welcome to So Sensible. Today we are going to make a fabric planter. I am going to make this fabric planter with some filter paper. This filter paper was actually donated to the Swanton Arts Council. And if it's something that you're interested in, you can contact the Swanton Arts Council and they have gobs of it and they're going to be more than happy to give you some. So, but this is what I did with it and it works out really good. I've got one plant hanging in the shower right now. You can also get gardener fabric at your local hardware store. I'm going to use this command hook shelf. And the first thing you want to do is you want to trace the bottom of this, okay? So your pattern bottom should look something like this. You can see I've got the original trace and then I added about a quarter inch onto it. Then you're gonna measure the inside and you're just gonna take a fabric ruler basically, flexi tape ruler, and you're just gonna line it up on the inside. And you're just gonna kind of put it in there and measure it leisurely. And then, it, I don't know if you can see that, it's 25. And so I cut a rectangle that is 26 and a half, because I wanna make sure I have some leeway. And then you can double check by putting this fabric in like so. And you can see that has a good overlap because you want a good overlap on there. You can also kind of like, if you want to get really technical, you can put some weights in here and you can sew it diagonally so that it expands, it's wider. What I found is I do have one that's wider on the top and I found that it doesn't work really great because the plant will droop out. So it's better to just keep it straight up. So we have our base, we have our sides. The next thing I'm gonna put on is I'm gonna put handles on it. All right, let's do it. And the cool thing about this is it doesn't unravel uh, because it's not a woven fabric. So you're just going to have it like this and you're gonna fold it in half and then you're gonna fold it again and you're just gonna zigzag stitch right down there. So now we've got the two straps done, we're gonna put those aside. Now we're gonna work on the base, right? So we've got the bottom, so we've got this, okay. And I'm kind of not great at the maths. So I kind of, and I'm kind of a scaredy cat at goofing things up. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna take this piece and I'm going to pin it down. I'm gonna find the center of this one. So I found the center of this, this piece and I found the, the center of this piece and I'm just going to line them up. I'm going to start stitching and I'm just going to feed it to the machine as I go around. So as I'm stitching, I'm going to then fix the edge and I'm gonna sew here and then I'm gonna fix the edge and I'm gonna sew here and I'm just going to let the fabric follow me around to the other side, okay? And when I get to the end of this, I'm gonna leave like over an inch probably an inch and a half excess, and I'm not gonna stitch it. I'm going to use a straight stitch with a quarter inch. You're just gonna take it nice and slow. So we've got one side done, and now we're gonna start on the other side. We've got this. We've got it open right here. And now we kind of know how much excess we need in order to make it work. So we're just going to pin it together kind of where we need it to go. Oh, you see how that works? I don't know if you can see that. There is that little, we've just got a pin there and I'm going to stitch it right where it meets right where it meets, I'm gonna stitch it right here.
open up the seam and then press it down and we're going to pin that in place so that we can finish the rest of it off. Okay, so you should have something that looks like this, a little bag. You know what sure. I, I'm going to do is I'm going to stitch these down just because that's how I like it. Okay, so I'm going to put a straight stitch on this side and this side. It doesn't need to go all the way down. So you can see there's a nice stitch holding those down. Now we're gonna give the bottom a French seam. So you're gonna fold it inside out. You don't have to do this step. I just like it because it really helps reinforce the bag. And to do a French seam, you're just going to then pinch it like this. And you're going to sew around that quarter inch seam and you can feel it inside of the bag. And you're gonna sew around that. So now you have this bottom and it looks rather nice, I think. It's got that extra edge here. Kind of adds some stability. And the next thing you're gonna do, just like a canvas bag, and you're gonna fold it down and then fold it down again. And that's what you're gonna stitch. Fold it down and fold it again and pin it in place. Or clip it with whatever you have clip worthy. And then when you put the handles in, the handles are gonna go on the edges over here. So you're going to tuck this in here and then hold it like this. So the height of this bag, I cut it about 10 inches tall, but I plan to fold it over. Uh, that just gives it more structure. But if you want it to fit perfectly in your shelf, then you can cut it shorter than this. Because as you can see, it is going to hang out of it. But that's how I wanted it last stitch. So there we have it, a fabric planter. And you can just put these on, in the, on, the command shelvings. And then what I do is I fold the top down. Fits in that much better. And then it can grow with the plant as it goes. So it doesn't need to have the shelving. You can just put plants in it just like this and set it on your step. Thank you for joining us. It's so sensible and I'll see you next time. Hello, special guests. Today I am your photographer, 